Greetings everyone, here's Ludwig again and this is a game who won the Pacific at Mid Edition. This is my play by email match against Kiloi. This is uh, scenario 1 on the game version 27 with a new map. Kiloi also has the American working torpedoes at the start of the war. And uh, yeah, I try to uh, conquer the last bases on Cylon. Here's an American Mark 14 submarine at the uh, Komak port. My destroyers are on duty, trying to defend my incoming convoy with a lot of troops on board, so I can create some hits, and the Americans must retreat. New Orleans, also after many days of unsuccessful attempts, getting a torpedo hit near to Sydney, finally, but only one hit out of six. But still. This will, I think, ship, send this ship back to port and shipyard. This is my own cargo ship, this is a smaller one. Getting intercepted and likely sink. Three torpedo hits is of course far too much. So I lose a car, small cargo ship, maybe four or five points. In kill I have a heavy damage cruiser. This is the same submarine still in Komak, but no is able to avoid my search patrol. O16 also avoid any detection. I too failed. So a lot of submarine activity and on both sides successes. Still sweeping more mines of Colombo port. And this is near Hawaii. I also find a cargo ship. But no sinking sound so far. But well, second attack this daytime and this I-15 have a heavy 14 centimeter attack gun. And plus torpedo hit. I think this is enough sinking sound. Nice. And this is now a, a port strike, but nearly no damage. Australian forces are retreating again. Still flag power, so there's even after this uh, second defeat, uh, I kicked them once out of Darwin, and this was now the second battle last turn. Uh, but there's still flag power. Ground attacks in Burma and Borneo achieving something. It's a daily pressure. It simply don't allow the Kilroy to rebuild his units. Still no carriers. I'm not sure where Kilo will keep his carriers these days. A little dangerous. If after so many days, they simply maybe show up at the location I don't expect them. My long range patrol boats are getting intercepted by P-39s. Uh, maybe not the best day. No. So this was the first time I really get uh, heavily intercepted 
H6 Mavis is really too slow, no protection, no armament. If there's any f escort fighter or interceptor, it's uh, not possible to avoid or survive this. The second attack also suffer heavily. And at the end, I achieve nothing. Ugh. H8 is the other story. This is the early one, the K1. The K2 is really like a B17 more or less. But or even the early one have a firepower in protection. But uh, they miss also the target. Okay. Now there's no P39 is more left. And also miss the target. Oh. And if the day is not worse enough, I think the I2 also gets three hits here, and this is, I think, maybe enough to better return to port. Oh yeah, I pick up here the large, large bases. And here is one base force maybe left still oppose me. Casualties and the daily bombardment in Nanchang. Bombardment on Cylon. Bombardment on Omaya. This is now for me testing again how strong is the allies here. I'm not so sure what is really new here. It's all a little broken. I have two and a half times the attack value. Problem is, he is three times to run. I can maybe try to attack, but I don't really know if this uh, have success. Stalemate here. Now it's Kilroy trying to attack me. Not sure if he really want win or if he only want to uh, get rid of his uh, already broken units. At the end, his attack failed. I have disabled units, nearly nothing gets killed for him. Uh, some units are dying. So maybe at sea it was a good day for me, at least acceptable day. In the air I have really uh, maybe the highest losses in the war so far. The land battles was again. So today, 5 to 12, this number sounds not too can happen, let's say this. Issue is only these are all four engine airplanes, so these are 40 engines left or well, lost. Uh, and on top of this, I also lost the Nell Bomber. Ooh, okay. So these are normally all very skillful pilots. Uh, three killed, two missing, so five pilots lost. Hmm. Maybe still acceptable, but uh, really not so great. Uh, of course, New Orleans is not well, it's still afloat, let's say this, but damaged. I don't know how strong it's damaged, but maybe one month in shipyard. A small cargo ship, this is my own four points. And my submarine at uh, Pearl Harbor can sink this standard cargo ship for the Allies. This is okay. I'm not so sure what was the air losses for the Allies. Today are two P-39s, a Seagull, a Kingfisher, and a P-40. Okay. Hmm. 
So, no real change on the map. Mm. There's some Chinese movement here, but there are only support units. Uh, here, they try to attack me here. My units are damaged, so they're not really ready for attack. They're still waiting for additional forces and bring these new units maybe over, but they're also a little damaged, or maybe let them heal it. And they can better heal here in the base without enemy units. Both of them. I have the center already under control. I just or inter, I intercept and yeah. Uh, make it impossible for Kyoto to really move here anything quickly around. China looks okay. Burma is also more or less secured. There's nothing left. The British Rangoon army is here, still trapped somewhere at the mountains. I'm not sure if there's any supplies can because I control here all the dot bases, so there is normally no way that any supplies can flow to this English British units. At the same time, also I control uh, the two most important um, ports and air bases here on Cylon. So I think this British forces on Cylon are also trapped. Plus a lot of submarines for you know, intercepting missions. My carriers are back to maybe hunt whatever is uh, still there out in the Indian Ocean. Uh, and I s now start here with picking forces to clean up here. All, normally all of the spaces are empty. Here's one Dutch base force but super small. The rest is normally empty, empty, empty. My tanks are rushing source uh, to help in north of Australia. Once they arrive I can maybe f move forward. In Nomaya, I uh, bring in uh, or I change here some positions of my forces and I just test it so that I know I have now two and a half times the attack power than the um, allies have in Nomaya. And I can bring here down my last free division to help in Nomaya to get maybe three times the attack power. A lot of shipments still here, but they lure my aircraft out, but uh, no. This was no successful day. This air wing lost uh, three pilots. I mean, two lost, one wounded. Yeah, also killed and wounded. Survived. Uh, the rest is all okay. But uh, so, this air wing had now, I think, I don't know if I lost them all today. This is hard to say. The game don't crack. Uh, tracks is really well. So five airframes lost in this airframe. And ah, I don't know. Hard to see how many I lost in this two air wings. Uh, Marshall Islands looks still uh, no reinforcements more for this American forces forces. The numbers getting also lower and lower day by day. Yeah, the stacking limit is normally 6,000, so they will not have a good time here. Good. Thank you. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.